The area of parallelograms, this is one of those lessons that's like suspiciously easy because it's area equals base times height. And you're thinking, well, how, how is that even going to be remotely difficult? And that's true. And remember, parallelograms, there's examples of parallelograms. And rectangles, they are a parallelogram. So if it's base times height, well, if I just had 10 and 5, I would be done. My area is base times height, 10 times 5. Totally done, right? And the same thing could be said for like a square. Except uh, except for a square is even easier because base times height, they're the same. So if this was 5, they don't even need to tell me that this is 5, right? And so if area is base times height, and for a square, all the sides are congruent, well, this is obviously 5 times 5, 25. Okay, now the parallelogram that's a little weird, <laughs> excuse me, that's a little weirder is the one that gets pushed sideways. So let me, let me tell you what I mean. So here's a rectangle, which again is a parallelogram. And let's say you knew this was 20 by 5, right? And so the area would be base times height. This would be 100. Now, if you picture this as like the front of a cardboard box or something flexible that you could shove to the side, if I push this sideways in this direction, couldn't I basically push it hard enough that this side would cave over and then this side would cave over and this would be the resulting shape? And that's exactly the kind of parallelogram that we would be dealing with. This is the same, this area, the total space inside this new shape was exactly the space inside this original shape. So what you'd be dealing with now is your base is still 20 and your height is still five. And then you would have this new value. I don't even know that I'm gonna make it up. It's gonna be something like nine, right? But what's interesting is when you have a parallelogram like this, you don't care about this diagonal height. If the height of the rectangle was originally five, it's still five. It has to be perpendicular to the base, if you remember. So let me delete this cluttered picture and just draw this straight up now. So again, now we have this kind of leaning parallelogram and we agreed that this was 20. Maybe this is a little less perfect. The height was still five and then we had this new value nine, which is the same as this. Now, what do I do for the area of this parallelogram? It is still base times height. The only tricky part now is that the height is this exactly perpendicular to base side. It is not this side here. It's not this side here, which they are going to be the same. But just remember that the base and the height have to be perpendicular to each other. So in this case, that'd be easy. Area equals base times height, 5, which is 100. Whatever the units are, of course, they're going to be squared. So that's it. Just remember for a parallelogram, all it is is a rectangle or a square. Um, but if it's not, if it's leaning, you don't consider these sides as the height. You have to take the vertical height, which is exactly perpendicular to the horizontal base. And that's it. Hopefully you guys got this lesson and you'll ace this section.